Have you ever wondered what those lucky lottery winners do with all the money? Do they quit their day jobs, buy a mansion, or spend the rest of their lives doing nothing? Well, what if we told you we found a $30 million lottery winner who's willing to tell all their secrets? Let's find out the 8 things that happened after they won a $30 million lottery jackpot. Number 8. The money is not all yours to keep. Our lucky winner was on cloud 9 after finally getting their hands on that astounding 30 million lottery. But they were pretty shocked when they were told that they did not get the whole pile of cash. And that's because the government took a piece of the pie too. It was the taxes that cut off a portion of the winnings. When the financial matters were settled, our winner went home with the sum of 20 million dollars. But hey, let's not underestimate their big win. That is a lot of cash. So how does one get through this situation? Let's have a look at things step by step. You see, suddenly having more money than you ever imagined will definitely leave you puzzled. That's why you'll need a financial expert to help out. They'll be like a guide for your money journey. The first thing that you need to do is decide how you want to receive the money. Depending on which state you live in, you have around three months to make this important decision. And if you're someone who plays Powerball, then listen up. You have two choices. One is to get a big chunk of cash right away, which is about half of the flashy jackpot amount. The other option is to receive the full jackpot over 30 years, like a slow and steady buildup. Some people choose the upfront cash because it's exciting to reinvest it, while others prefer the steady flow of the full jackpot over time. This is exactly why you need to talk to your money expert. Together, the two of you can come up with the best plan. Now, let's get real about taxes and managing your newfound wealth. The financial expert won't handle this alone. They'll connect you with a team of experts, an accountant, investment specialist, insurance expert, and even a legal advisor. This is to help you figure out the tax and legal stuff. And if you go for the upfront deal, you'll pay taxes right away. But if you're more into the idea of receiving money over time, you'll pay taxes every time you receive more of the money. Think about it this way. If you like having control, the installment plan might be better for you. But money experts warn that there are downsides to that too. Is it a better option than taking the lump sum and dealing with taxes and investments? We would suggest you do the math with your financial expert and think ahead. It's a personal choice. But there's still more to think about. What if you chose the 30-year payment plan but pass away before it's over? This could leave your family with a big tax bill. It's called an estate tax and they have to pay it when they inherit your wealth. Well, in such situations, life insurance can be handy, making sure your family doesn't end up in a tough spot. Before you claim your prize, you'll have 60 days to think about the pros and cons. Don't worry, your advisors will be there to help. The tax cuts on your winnings are absolutely unavoidable in America. However, there are also some other important decisions you'll need to make regarding your winnings. Number 7. The Savvy Move Get a Lawyer Let's say you've managed to snag the $30 million golden ticket. What would be your first smart move? Luckily, our winner spilled the beans about their first step. He said that he made photocopies and called a lawyer. That's definitely the wisest thing to do. Calling a lawyer who knows all about lotteries is like finding gold twice. But why is that true? Well, they'll walk you through the complex legal lottery matters, as they know exactly how to help you get your prize without any problems. Provide a full account of your situation and don't hold back on any questions you want to ask. After all, they're your magical genie of legal info. And here's the best thing. Your lawyer won't just help you get your prize, but will also keep your secrets safe. Sure, there might be some fees, but they're totally worth it for all the legal proceedings. Now, let's talk about another important thing. Don't forget to take a picture of your winning ticket, showing off those lucky numbers. It's really important. Why? Well, the picture also has a secret, as it shows when you got that ticket. And this helps if someone else tries to steal your spotlight and claim that it was them who won the money. Lastly, keep that ticket safe. Put it in a super secret spot, 
like a locked vault at the bank or a special safe. Don't let it disappear like socks in the laundry. Having a lawyer by your side is crucial, especially as you navigate legal problems. But there is also another equally important aspect, how to spend your earnings. Number 6. Use your jackpot winnings wisely. For our winner, hitting the jackpot made them $30 million richer. If it happened to you, you'd know it feels like life is a dream. But before you get carried away, here are some wise words for you. Be practical with your first buy. Follow the example of our $30 million winner who chose a simple lifestyle over luxurious stuff. Pretty clever, right? Now, here's why it's important to listen to what the experts have to say. The wise Mark Cuban, the money guru from Shark Tank and owner of the Dallas Mavericks, has a golden tip. Skip the lump sum. Don't splurge all at once. Instead, lean towards the annuity plan. It's like a steady income stream that'll keep you comfy. And hold up before you start investing like a pro, because Mark Cuban has another reality check. You are not going to be an expert investor overnight. So forget the big investments. Save that cash in the bank and live your best life indefinitely. And if you want to grow your millions, Mark Cuban is here to help you again. He says that sleeping well is better than risky bets. Don't risk your money in the market. You could lose it all. Timing the market is really hard. And here's another pro tip. Protect yourself from being everyone's ATM. Mark advises saying no to constant money requests. You can help some people, but talk to your accountant first. Trust us, it makes a big difference. And don't rush with money decisions. Finance expert Farnoosh Torabi suggests waiting a few weeks or a month. Let that excitement settle in. And what about the financial advisors? Well, give them a break too. Before you decide anything, gather your loved ones and think. Farnoosh Torabi's advice in that regard is to talk about how to use this money wisely. It's not just about enjoying life, it's also about making a real impact. So take a moment and create a bright future. Now, following Mark Cuban's advice is probably wise, but there is another pressing concern related to how you should approach spending, saving, and investing your newfound fortune. Number 5. Have a good time. After all, this is the lottery. Winning the lottery doesn't mean that you can't have fun. Of course you should. You defined all the odds for your big win, didn't you? And now you're in for a surprise, as we're about to reveal our winner's biggest purchase. They spent their newfound fortune on a T-Rex animatronic head used in Jurassic Park. Yep, they spent 90k on a dino head that's lounging right behind their sofa. I guess that's their idea of a perfect pet. But that purchase makes an important point. You should buy yourself a treat with your new cash. But make sure it's something that will make you personally happy. Everyone wants to get their hands on the coveted ticket. But what would you do if you actually won? Here's a breakdown of things you could possibly do with that big stash of money. Remember those sleek first-class seats that you've only dreamed of? Well, with a Division I win, you could be turning left every time you step on a plane. Imagine your family and friends cruising in style. Have you ever fantasized about that degree you never got around to? With your lottery win in toenail, you can finally make it happen. Architect, teacher, whatever your passion is, unleash it and seize your career dreams. And how cool would it be if you and your buddies were glamping at Longitude 131, gazing at Uluru's majestic beauty from your luxury tent? How about waking up in the heart of the outback? This paradise could be yours with a top win. After winning, you can actually visit all those dream places on your list at once. Take a trip around the world. It's possible now. Jump between continents, experience different cultures, and create memories that will make you smile forever. Lastly, get ready for some thrill that will knock your socks off. Skydive over the legendary Mount Everest in Nepal. And if you're an adrenaline junkie, this might just be the ultimate leap of a lifetime. 
So yes, while there are many thrilling possibilities for enjoying your winnings, it's time to turn our attention to a thoughtful consideration. How to make a positive impact on the lives of those around you. Number 4. Sharing the Love – Giving Back Now it's time for a twist that's often overlooked – helping those who mean the world to you. Let's be real, family dynamics differ, but our winner knew how to spread happiness. They gave their parents and sister $1 million each and donated another million to a scholarship fund. As if that wasn't enough, they also paid off the debt of lifelong friends, which came to a total cost of about 200 grand. Being kind with your money is a big deal, but here's another good idea. It might also be important to plan your charitable moves. Think about using some of your big gains to help others every year. And guess what? You can also enjoy some tax benefits by giving money to good causes. But there's another thing you can do. Let's say you won $1.5 billion and got a lump sum of $930 million. Choosing where to donate a part of it now can feel overwhelming. But here's an option. Visit a fund that manages your donations but still lets you advise where to give. Donate this year, get a tax break, and choose the recipients later. And at this point, you might be worried about being swamped with requests. But don't worry, there's a way out of that too. You can donate anonymously while being a superhero for causes you care about. Sounds like a plan, right? While sharing your wealth is commendable, it also brings about certain responsibilities. And this leads us to another important aspect – managing the requests and expectations that come your way. Number 3. Beware of the Woodwork Warriors Ah, the million dollar question. How do people react when they know you're loaded? The winner in our story shared their own experience about this. He said when he first won, he was deluged by people he hadn't seen in years asking him for help, telling him their sob stories and wanting to start a business. He said he bought into a lot of it at first, but you quickly become hardened and learn to say no. He said it was only after he started traveling that people stopped asking him for money, mainly because he wasn't around for them to ask face to face. So, how does a new lottery winner handle that? Well, first things first, zip those lips for now. Listen closely. Your win is a secret treasure, not to be shared on social media or shouted from rooftops. Why? Because until you claim your prize, you're sitting on a ticket that's worth a mountain of cash. Scammers might just attack you any time. And when the word gets out, friends and relatives show up suddenly. That could be a risk to your family's safety. Plus, don't fall for the begging brigade. Sooner or later, charities, old buddies, and so-called experts with their investment advice are going to come knocking. But there is a way to avoid all of this. You can go anonymous. Not all states have the same rules for winners. Take New York, for instance. There, if you win, everyone gets to know your name. But in other places, you might just be able to stay a mystery by using a trust or a special company to collect your winnings. Yep, even after winning big, you can stay under wraps. And if you're in a state that allows you to stay completely anonymous forever, then take that option. Take notes from clever winners who have mastered the art. Managing the requests pouring in can be overwhelming, but with your new wealth will come critical problems. The next thing that happened to our winner was pretty unexpected. Number 2. The Do-Nothing Myth The moment that $30 million lands in your pocket, it's surreal. You may even feel lost at some point, thinking about what's next. When our winner was asked about their life plan, they said, I thought I'd do nothing. But guess what? Nothing gets boring fast. Those words are truly wise. So here's what you need to do once you hit the jackpot. Become a money pro. You see, to enjoy life later, you need to be smart. If handling lots of money is new to you, you have to control your spending. It might be tempting to go on a spending spree, but here's the trick. Only use what you make. 
not your savings. Sounds tricky, right? But think of it like this. Your savings are your castle walls, and the income they generate is your fortress. Spending the walls themselves? That's not a great idea. Now, Dennis I. Belcher, a smart legal mind, puts it perfectly. Once you start using the walls, they crumble. So, you should be spending, but be smart about how you spend. Breaking away from the do-nothing myth is crucial, and this realization will lead you to the next step, a topic that complements your newfound financial responsibility and setting strategic financial goals. Number 1. Keep an eye on your gold mine. What's your next course of action now that you have the lotto ticket? How about we learn from the best, shall we? Let's hear the thoughts of our clever jackpot winner. They handled their new wealth with various mutual funds and a full-time financial advisor who is in turn monitored by a full-time accountant, who is then audited in secret by a team of auditors. You've probably wondered how jackpot winners can blow all their money, right? Well, it turns out that even with a huge sum of money, you have to set a budget. What you need to understand is that it's never going to be endless money. So, it's a wise step not to spend it rashly, thinking that it will last forever. Experts say that a financial advisor can tell you how much income you can receive monthly from your winnings. Therefore, you'll need to live on that amount or less. By setting a budget, you can balance stuff and even make those dream purchases. And here's the thing. Once you've won big, don't go bananas. Just not yet. The first six months are your golden incubation period. So don't quit your job or buy that European villa. Instead, set aside some cash for those sweet treats without jumping into the decisions themselves. After all, celebrations are a must. But you can do something even better. Say goodbye to your debts. Credit cards and mortgages, they're like chains, and breaking free is your best move. When it comes to making money grow, paying off debt is the best option. Considering the low profits from investments today, it's a no-brainer. Think about it this way. When you owe $1 less, you actually have an extra dollar. If you use that dollar to invest, you are unsure what will happen. So become a financial hero by paying off your debts. Then you can see your wealth grow and succeed. The exciting story of our $30 million lottery winner gives us a clear view of what happens after the big win. And it's not as easy as it seems. There are taxes, financial experts, and lawyers involved. The lesson is pretty clear. Winning a lot of money brings responsibilities. After learning about these secret tips, if you're curious to learn more, there's something you'll enjoy. Click to watch our next interesting video. Absurd rules mega million winners have to follow. You'll be amazed at what mega million winners have to go through.